But we know one thing. We know one thing. Every 2,000 year cycle is an end of times. From the birth of the Messiah, from the crucifixion, the burial and the resurrection of the, of the Messiah, the Savior and the Redeemer of the world, till our day, 2,000 years, has completed. We are definitely into the heart of the end of times. What do we encounter in the end of times every 2,000 year cycle? Well, guess what? From our father Adam to, to Noah, the ark of Noah, a, a great flood came and covered the entire globe, washed away every living creature. Except Noah, his wife, his three sons, and their wives. Eight people in total. But everything else outside the ark was gone. So what happens? Something of a great magnitude happens. Why did the great flood come? Because people had sinned so deeply and so badly, they have offended God to an absolute extreme case. God was angry, God was offended, God was challenged by his own creations, so he had to put an end to this nonsense brought the great flood, gone, finished, washed away. Now we are living 2,000 years after the coming and the ascension of the Messiah, the Savior of the world. After 2,000 years, what's going to happen? People will walk away from God. People will start challenging God. People will start denying God. People will start doing things, everything under the sun that is against the will and the wish of God. My question to all of you, those who are in the church and those who are watching us live, look around you in this world. What do you see, my beloved? Everything that is happening in the world is against God, isn't it? 99.9. .9. So the 21st century is the end of times. What's going to happen? People will start doing things against God.